Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Devil, where of course every day is a trade show. My name is DJ and Happy New Year to everyone. I hope everyone had a wonderful, fantastic holiday season or starting the year off on a right foot. As a matter of fact, I had some viewers send in some of their New Year's resolutions for our show. So let's take a look. This one's from Jimmy. Jimmy says, in the year 2023, I want to buy some more boxcars. And find a wife that understands that I want more box here. Stop bothering me. I'll get... Oh, boy. Okay, that's getting into more personal stuff. But we have some new products that we're going to show for you. They're not box cars, but they are Beth Gone Gondola cars. Check out these from Scale Trains. And these are from the Operator line. Now, the Operator line is the more economic version. But these are really nice looking Beth Gone cars that we have here. They are very nicely detailed. I have a bunch of different road names and I have a bunch of road numbers. And if you are the person that wants to get the nice scale cars, I do have a regular scale train version here of this Holidaysburg Conrail one. Now, if you take a look at the two, and I put the two next to each other so you can kind of see the difference between the operator one and the regular scale trains one. As you can see, the scale trains one has a lot more writing on it. It has a lot more detailing on it. If you take a look here, I do have the air hose where the um, the operator lines doesn't. So this is kind of this like scale trains light where this has all the bells and whistles, so to speak, for a gondola car here. But the difference between the two is, of course, the price. So if you want a very economical and very nicely made car, the operator version sell for $29.99, and we're selling it here for $22.49. And, of course, the regular version is $45.99, and we're selling it for $39. Uh, $35.99, all right? So if you want to get a whole bunch of um, hopper cars and you don't really care necessarily too much about the detail, but you want a lot of quantity, I think the operator line is a good way for you to go. But, of course, if you really like scale, get that uh, Conrail Holidaysburg one, and it, it looks great, and I also have a bunch of numbers to go with that. So all aboard for some hopper fun. All right, let's keep our New Year's resolutions going. All right, my New Year's resolution is to be more safe while repairing my chain. Signed, Three Fingered Harry. Oh. oh boy. Well, good luck to you. Hopefully, we don't get one from Two Finger Harry next year. All right, so we have some N scale locomotives that we're going to be taking a look at. And these are from Bachman. These are the Siemens Chargers. Let's check out these diesel locomotives here because these are really neat looking engines. Now, I have here the Surfliner, the Pacific Surfliner. I have here the Cascade. And the third variation I have is the Midwest. Now, these are some of the new locomotives that Amtrak is going to be having pulling their trains. These engines are actually replacing the P-42 Genesis locomotives. So these are really neat locomotives to have here. And they are the first time being offered in N-Scale. Now, these engines look great. They sound great. And, of course, we're going to be playing with them in a moment. But they retail for $449. But we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $299.99. So if you're an Amtrak fan or maybe a fan against, some modern uh, locomotive equipment here. I think you definitely need these engines pulling some trains in your track today. So let's fire them up and see what they sound like. So I have that Midwest locomotive on here. And I forgot to mention that these engines have wow sounds. So let's check out what they sound like. And who knows, maybe you go wow. All right, let's take a listen to what the horn sounds like. The bell. All right, let's get started. I do definitely love the various lights that are happening there. We got the safety lights up front. We got a light on the center. Let's check it out. Back it up. Yeah. 
All right, let's highball this guy. It's a great looking diesel locomotive there. I love all the lights that are involved with that. I definitely think that is uh, worth the uh, purchase if you're an end scaler and you're looking to get some Amtrak trains, maybe get some uh, Amfleet cars there, some Surfliner cars there. I think that is definitely going to look great. So again, that locomotive sells for $299.99. If you're an end scaler, you need an Amtrak, all aboard those chargers. Time for another New Year's resolution. Let's check out this one. Uh, I would need people to finally buy my artwork, please, Chris. Chris, wait a minute. I need to eat. Sorry, folks. Anyway, we got a new diesel locomotive that we're going to be talking about here. And uh, once again, from Scale Trains, we're going to be taking a look at these SD38-2s. And we've got two for your consideration here. All right, so if you take a look at this one here, this is the EJ and E diesel locomotive here. And I love the way that this engine looks here. Bright orange color here, the EJ and E. Really neat looking railroad to model. And then I have here the Frisco, and I love that look as well. These are two great looking locomotives. I do like these SD38s. They are really neat looking locomotives. They are nicely designed, nicely detailed. I love all the intricacies. For example, if we take a look here, this one has kind of a wider beacon up top and it has a flat windows here but if we take a look at this one here this one has kind of protruding windows a little bit and it has a thin beacon here the horn is in the back where the horn is up front the other one i mean i just love how a lot of the modelers nowadays are doing road specific engines they're given a little bit of details for back in the day it was just a uh, a cookie cutter format everyone had the same thing now we got a lot of different subtle details for the different railroads i really am enjoying them so that frisco is kind of calling my eyes right here or call my eyes how do you call your eyes i don't know call my ears to hear what it sounds like so let's run that frisco diesel Move on the track so let's hear what it sounds like but before i turn it on i want to take a look at all the lighting features that i have here as you can see the number boards are lit up there i got the beacon uh beaconing is that a word engineer hall it will do for today. Okay. And I have the classification lights. What's neat about those classification lights is I can change the colors. So right now they are white, but I can make them green. I can make them red. Or I can just turn them off all together. So I think that's pretty neat. So let's start her up. All aboard. Sure. Let's hear what the bell sounds like. I always enjoy those bells if you hear the clapper in there. Alright, and away we go. Back rub show. Let's change those lights. Hey, let's pick up some bet guns over here. Now arriving on track number one. The New Year's Resolution Express with Beth Gons.
That's a great looking diesel locomotive, a great sounding diesel locomotive, and if you need this on your rails, I would act fast. The retail value of this engine goes for $355.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dappler for $279.99. Cool deal to get on this diesel locomotive. I also had the EJ and E. Get both of them, or you can get a couple of different number versions because I have a couple of different numbers of each one of those locomotives. So hurry in the Yankee Dabbler while supplies last. All right, let's keep going with these New Year's resolutions. All right, I need more people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. E.H., is that you? No, there's another guy out here named E.H. Oh. And while we're at it, I need people to start giving me money. I slave tirelessly making content. Throw me a hundred bucks. Come on, lazy bones. What the heck is wrong with all you people? I do nothing but tire. That's enough. That's enough. Um, okay. Anyway, we have one more locomotive that we're going to show you, and it's going to be this steam engine from Broadway Limited. You know how I love my steam engines. Check out these two ten four Texas. And I these are all from the Texas and Pacific. I have here the in-service version of the 2104. I have here a very interesting version, which is decked out in a southern paint scheme, the number 610. Number 610 decorated in the American Freedom Train paint scheme. And then I have here a fantasy paint scheme, which is a, they call it the Golden Eagle for the Texas and Pacific. Now, if we take a look, let's go back to this in-service version here, if we can, Engineer Hall. Now, the Texas and Pacific had a lot of these steam locomotives here, and this is kind of what they considered to be the in-service version. This is the paint scheme that these locomotives would have when they were running trains. Now, if I take a look at the Southern Heritage one, this was when the Southern Railroad was doing their steam program, and they decorated this engine to look like a Southern engine. As a matter of fact, there's actually a little brass eagle, small, that uh, is in the box that you could put in there. I didn't put it on there because I didn't want to lose it, but it is a really nice, subtle little detail that we have there as a really neat part of steam railroading history that had this engine decorated as a southern locomotive now in the 1976 we actually had this version pulled the american freedom train the ross Roland freedom train and this is uh one of multiple engines that pulled the train but this one actually just ran it through texas a really great look at design there and then this is a total fantasy paint scheme of this locomotive here but i think this looks really cool if you want to get these uh kind of uh almost a blue comma type of paint scheme here so to speak on this locomotive that is just a really sharp looking engine and a lot of railroad manufacturers rather are doing these fantasy paint schemes I just think they're really cool. Kind of a what-if approach if these railroads came up with these engines in these colors. Now, of course, each one of them has a certain level of detail to them. And the more detail added to it, unfortunately, the price goes a little bit higher. So these engines retail straight out for $899.99. It seems like a lot, but these are brass hybrid steam locomotives here. So they have a lot of brass parts. They are highly detailed and they sound great. Of course, you go with throwing that engineer hall. This can't get a little off of that. But the in-service paint scheme sells for $819.99. The Freedom Train of the Southern um, Heritage one sells for $349. And then the What If uh, Eagle paint scheme sells for $879. So a little bit different depending on what locomotive you want. If you want to go with the least expensive, get the in-service. If you want to spend a little bit of money and go to the head of the class of some of the other ones there, you got that option too. So I'm feeling very patriotic. So we're going to play the Amer run the American Freedom Train. So all aboard the USA. Get that Freedom Train on the track. Let's see what it sounds like. All right. All right, so before I begin, let's take a look at some of the nice detailing I have here. Of course, the headlight is lit up. If you take a look inside here, I had the crew figures inside, and also I got some curtains in there, which is a nice and subtle detail. This is a great look at steam locomotive. Let's take a listen to the whistle.
ball on the curve. Let's see if it works. Looking steam locomotive, it smokes great, it sounds great, it looks great. What more could you want? All right, so the retail value of these engines once again is $899.99, but depending on which variation you want, is somewhere between $819 and $880. It's a really great deal to get on a steam locomotive. Look, steam locomotives are expensive, but if you get something like this, you're definitely going to the head of the class. So, all aboard for some Broadway limited fun. All right, so let's do a little recap of everything that we took a look at today. If we zoom in down here, we had these Operator Beth guns. And these were really nice looking cars here. And of course, I had the regular scale train version here, the Conrail Holidaysburg. And each one of them, I have a whole bunch of different road numbers to them. I have these gondola kits that I have right here that you can put together. I had these Broadway Limited Texas and Pacific steam locomotives. And these are some awesome looking steam engines here. I had these N-Scale Chargers from Bachman. Those are really cool looking engines. I loved all the LED lighting that's in those. And then, of course, from Scale Trains, again, I had these SD38-2s. But, of course, if none of these interests, uh, engines are fitting your interest, you can find what you're looking for at our website, yankeedabbler.com. Type in the search bar what you're looking for, and hopefully we'll get it shipped and packed to it, uh, your house so you can get on your layout and you can be happy with a new year of a whole bunch of trains. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and get caught up on all the latest and greatest things that we have happening. 2023, it's a brand new year, a whole bunch of new things coming your way, and we're really excited to bring some content for you to enjoy. We're going to conclude this week's rail fan video. We're going to go to the Wilmington and Western Railroad. They did a Holiday Light Express at the end of uh, 2022, and it was a really neat looking uh, display where they put all their trains with a whole bunch of multitude of different lights celebrating Christmas and New Year's. It was a really awesome event, and I got it going through nighttime, so it looks like a whole bunch of lighting parade going by. It was really cool. I hope you really enjoy it. Well, my New Year's resolution is this year, I'm actually not going to buy a single train, not one. Yeah, good luck with that. No, I mean it. I'm not buying anything this year, Engineer Hall. You sure about that, bro? Mm, yep. Nah, you, no. you, it ain't got it in you. Look, no, look at I'm, you. You're I'm sweating. Not, not, You're not good. Yeah. Oh, God. See? Told you. Hey, Rich. Hey, Ken. How you doing? Good. Looking nice, don't it? Yeah. What? I think I'm going to pick this one up. Hey, was my resolution. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. What in the world is going on here?